EduCreation's iPad app, recording and saving your first lesson. After viewing this tutorial, you will know how to set up and record a lesson using the ink and text tools in EduCreation's, how to set up an account on the EduCreation's website and save a lesson there, and how to access your recorded lesson on the EduCreation's website. To get maximum benefit from this tutorial, it is suggested you watch it on a computer while practicing the skills demonstrated in the EduCreations app on your iPad. You can pause and rewatch any portion of the video at any time as needed. In this video, we're going to look at how to use just the ink and text tools in EduCreations to make a fairly simple review or tutorial for students. I'm going to launch the EduCreations app and in the top left corner I'm going to tap New Lesson. Now for this demonstration I'm going to pretend to be a chemistry teacher reviewing balancing chemical equations but you can think about doing anything appropriate to your subject area and grade level. For example a math problem procedure identifying the parts of a sentence, labeling parts of something you draw. There's a lot of things you could do with this. So first of all, before I even record the tutorial for my students, I'm going to get my slides set up. The first thing I'm going to do is pick a lined paper background because it'll help me write a little bit neater maybe. So the first equation I'm going to do for my students is this one. So I'm going to go ahead and write it out. And then I'm going to go ahead and think ahead and get my next slide set up. To do that, I'm going to tap the arrow in the bottom right corner of the screen. Notice right now, if you look in the middle bottom of my screen, it says one of one. That's essentially I'm on page or slide one of one in my presentation. I'm going to tap the right arrow and now notice I'm on slide two of two. On this slide, the students will work with this equation. Okay. I'm thinking ahead and I'm actually going to ask them to pause the video at this point because I'm going to want them to work this one out on their own. So I'm going to go ahead and use my text tool and type please pause the video. Okay, and my selection tool, my hand is already selected, I'm just going to scoot this over. Alright, so for the purposes of this demonstration two slides is plenty. So I'm going to go use the left arrow in the bottom left corner of my screen and move back to my first slide and now that I have my slide set up I'm actually going to record the tutorial for the students. So for the next couple minutes you'll see me recording the tutorial. To record, I tap the record button in the top right corner of the screen. Okay students, today we're going to review balancing chemical equations. Remembering that matter can neither be created or destroyed, we have to keep the same number of atoms of each element on the left side, the reactant side, as we have on the right side, the product side. The easiest way to do this is to make yourself a little chart so that you can count how many atoms of each substance are on each side of the equation. So I'm going to make a little chart down here and on the left side or the reactant side of the equation I have two atoms of hydrogen and I can tell that by the subscript 2 on the hydrogen molecule and likewise I have two atoms of oxygen. On the product side of my equation I have two 
atoms of hydrogen, the subscript 2 tells me that, but only one atom of oxygen. There is no subscript on the oxygen atom, so we assume a 1. Now, right now, our hydrogens are in balance because we have two of each of those. And our oxygens are not in balance. I have two of those on the reactant side, but only one on the product side. Now, I cannot add subscripts because I would actually be adding atoms, and that's cheating. But I can add coefficients, so I can create more molecules of a substance. So to get a second oxygen atom, I'm going to have to put a coefficient of 2 in front of my water molecule. Now remember, this coefficient goes with every atom in the molecule. So I have to look at this and say I've got two molecules of water. So that's 2 times 2 for the hydrogens now. I have four atoms of hydrogen and 2 times 1 on the oxygen is 2 atoms of oxygen. Okay, so the good news is I've brought my oxygen into balance because I have 2 on the product side atoms of oxygen and still 2 on the reactant side. But in fixing my oxygen, I've thrown my hydrogen out of balance. I now have four hydrogens on the product side, but still only two on the reactant side. Well, this is where our coefficients will help us again. To get myself to four atoms of hydrogen, I'm going to put a coefficient of two in front of the hydrogen molecule. So now I have two times two is four. I didn't affect my oxygens at all that time. So now I have four hydrogens here and four hydrogens here, two oxygens on the reactant side and two oxygens on the product side. My equation is officially balanced. Two molecules of hydrogen plus one molecule of oxygen yields two molecules of water or H2O. Okay students, now it's your turn. Please pause the tutorial video and work out the balancing of the equation sodium plus chlorine yields table salt or sodium chloride. When you're finished, you may start the video again to see if we got the same answer. Okay, notice after asking them to pause the video, I then am pausing it myself, pausing my recording of it, because what I'm going to do is get rid of the text here that says please pause the video. I do that by tapping my little hand selection icon and then tapping on the text box and tapping delete at the bottom. So. Notice I'm not recording right now. My recording is stopped. So now I can resume the recording of the video and the work is already there for them to see. Okay students, did you get this answer? Two sodium molecules plus one chlorine molecule yields two sodium chloride or salt molecules. Now if this were an actual tutorial video I might do one or two more examples. One of the things you'll want to do is try to keep your tutorial short so in the top right corner you can see that mine is just under five minutes right now. You definitely want to keep your tutorials under 10 minutes and the closer you can get to 5 the better. That's just for time and attention span. I think asking the students to pause the tutorials is a good approach too. So they can think about what they're learning and perhaps do something with it. So now that I've recorded this tutorial what do I do? 
Well, in the top left corner of my Educate Creation screen is the Done button. So I'm going to tap that, and I'm going to tap Save Lesson. I'm going to give it a title, and then I can put a description here if I want to, and tap Next. Now, choosing who, to, who can view this lesson, if I only want myself to be able to see it, I'll choose Private. But if I'm going to try to put a link to this lesson on my web page or um, send a link to my students to go see, I'm going to have to make it public. So I'm going to tap that. I'm going to choose a subject area. Now, what would make sense would be science, right? I'm going to put it under professional development, though, because I created it as a demonstration of EduCreations, and I don't want a student out there really looking for to this for in-depth knowledge. So now I'm going to tap Save and I get this welcome screen that says either create an account or sign in. Now this will happen the first time you create a lesson in EduCreations and this is my first official lesson although I've played with it I've never really saved one so I'm going to have to tap create account and you will too. I'm going to say I'm a teacher and I'm going to go ahead and put in my information and when I'm finished putting in all of my information here, I'm going to tap register. Now this could take a little bit, I don't know. Ah, it tells me it's saving my lesson. So now I have my lesson right here. Let's play it. I'm going to fast forward it a little bit just so we can see some stuff happening. Okay, so I know it recorded and it's out there. When you record a lesson with EduCreations, it doesn't just get saved to your iPad. That's why the app required you to set up or log into an already existing EduCreations account. To see your lessons on the web, go to a computer, not your iPad, and in the web browser, go to www www.educreations.com. In the top right corner of the web page, log in using the information that you used to create an account inside of the app. Once you are logged into the site, you will come to your dashboard. In the left hand column, click on your profile. This will take you to all of the lessons that you have created with EduCreations. You can see here a picture of the chemistry lesson that I just created in this video. To play the lesson, you simply click on it. And I'm going to fast forward a bit. And on the left side or the reactant side of the equation, I have two atoms of hydrogen and I can tell that by the subscript 2 on the hydrogen molecule. So this is what the lesson will look like to anyone who accesses your lesson via the web. So even if your students never see the lesson on the iPad, they can get to it on the web. To make it easy for them to get to, you can put a link to the lesson on your teacher website. In the bottom right corner, you can see a little box. If I click on it, it highlights. And if I right click and choose copy, then I could go to my website and paste that link in so that students could easily get to my lesson. So that is how EduCreations works. I'm going to go back to my profile page for a moment just to explain one more thing. This website is synced up with the app on your iPad. If you delete a lesson from your iPad, it will delete from this website and no longer be accessible. In the same manner, if I have a lesson here on the website and I delete the lesson from the website, which I believe is under Edit Lesson, yes. If I were to click Delete Lesson here, the next time I open the app on my iPad, 
the lesson will be gone. So that's something to remember if you are wanting to keep the content you have created. This concludes our tutorial on creating your first lesson in the EduCreations iPad app. If you are viewing this video as part of iPad Basic Training, please continue your learning as instructed in the online materials.